Shalom, my good black Israelite brothers and sisters. How y'all doing today? Before we start this video off, we're going to give all glory, honor, and praises to our Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. Yes, yes. So, today video, we're going to talk about Jada Pinkett Smith. Um, For y'all don't, you know, who don't know her, y'all should, but who, for, for people who don't know her, she's just an actor. Uh, she's been around for a long time and she is or was whatever this is the wife of will smith and she's been going around just uh destroying this man's image right i mean it is bad she first she talked about the man right not first but yeah, first, she talked about the man bad when it came to uh, the sexual aspect years ago. It's the craziest rumor you have ever heard about your family. That Will and I are swingers. That's the oh, yeah, craziest wasn't that kind of recent, one. actually? It's, 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 it's constant. Really? And I'm like, yo, I wish. Damn. <laughs> I wish. Don't, don't. So what happened, Jada? I just wanted to feel good. Mm -hmm. It had been so long mm -hmm. since I felt good. Right. So now she has a history right right there. Right. Even if all right, let's go back to the the um nineties where she had, you know, Tupac on a show uh, on the show, um he did a cameo or whatever, surprise cameo or whatever, how she acted then. Bougie now, Pick, I know I've changed, okay? But I don't think I'm any less down than I was when I was in the hood. Just less down with me, though. <laughs> Pick, being with you is no good, okay? It would be all about you. Now, tell me it wasn't like that before. It wasn't like that before. Pick. All right. Well, maybe I'll be down to scoop you up later in life. You ain't all shriveled up. <laughs> Be like Ozzy Davis and Ruby D. Dick, you know you always got a place in my heart. But you know the times. Hey, well, you just make sure the choir, you make sure Dorian does the right thing. I mean, take care of you and everything. Come on now, you know I ain't taking no shorts. Mm-hmm. So, if you watch, a lot of this stuff don't be acting. These people really feel this way, right? Like, she has always been disrespectful towards Will Smith. And then she lied about the August Alcina situation, and then he had to expose her. People, you know, they let that fly and go, you know, under the table. What did you do, Jada? Well, you know, I think from there, you know, as time went on, I got into a different kind of entanglement. Mm -hmm. with August. I One launched into an interaction mm -hmm. with August. What do you feel like um, you were looking for? I just wanted to feel good. Mm -hmm. It had been so long mm -hmm. since I felt good. Mm -hmm. And it was really a joy to just help heal somebody. Yeah. And with the wind, you know, like that's that's your who sleeps with their son's friends you know and she took advantage of this man sickness and illness and used it to her advantage this is crazy but we're the problem <laughs> we're the problem right black men are the problem but look at what she does now all black women don't do this but this is like some next level stuff and Will Smith, you know, slaps Chris Rock. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh. Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. 
Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I could, oh, okay. That was a greatest night in the history of television. Okay. Which he shouldn't have done, right? But his manhood, his ego is tested in a sense of like, she's leaving him for more or better, right? So he shouldn't have did that. Um, And then she said they haven't even been together. So if y'all haven't been together, why did Will Smith go up there all dramatically and hit that man and act the way he acted if y'all have not been together. <laughs> this is where the media, and I get it, this is where the media wants to yeah, clamp yeah, on right, something. Right. Oh, they just, uh, you know, spin it all around. So, yes, we were separated for seven years until mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oscar night. <laughs> Period! I know that's right! I know that's right! Does it make sense? And Will Smith talking about, well, he disrespected my wife. Your wife is bald-headed, and she's been bald-headed. There's nothing new about that. Like, she's been bald-headed. So, for you to try to act like she just became bald-headed, having people thinking like, oh, something's wrong, she's been bald-headed. He made a G.I. Jane joke. Wow. You know, and then to add insult to injury, she said she thought it was a skit because she couldn't believe that he did that. And she could be telling the truth because he took that upon himself to try to show her that I still love you. I want to share all of this. Shut up! Different stages in my marriage where Will and I decided we were not together. Say another word and this shit is over! And I ain't playing, nigga! I thought it was a skit. Like, from where I was sitting, you couldn't tell. I couldn't tell that it didn't look like Will hit Chris. <laughs> Shut the f up! Did I say sh No! I oh, shit! Say it again! Say something else! Oh! Say something else! Will Smith, we know that you still love her. She just don't love you. We know that you're trying to keep the relationship and the marriage that y'all have um, perpetual, but she just don't love you. Now you went out your way and embarrassed yourself for a woman that don't even care about you. That's why men have to be reprogrammed. Men have to learn how to relearn how to be men and stop letting women just have their way all the time. Period. She been saying stuff disrespectful. She she was crying off Tupac memories. Tissue. Thanks. Jada Pinkett Smith is recalling the most emotional memories of her connection with Tupac Shakur. Right? Her daughter and said she wished Tupac was her dad. All this stuff is disrespectful. You know? All this stuff is disrespectful. And for you to go on this rant, you know, this petition to get people to believe that you're the innocent one is ridiculous. A woman is supposed to be everything to a man, right? Everything positive. When you look at a woman and you look at a man and you look at the woman, you supposed to say, okay, I see why he's a good man. A woman is the representative of your image.
period. Let's go grab Proverbs 12 and 4. Because this is what she's supposed to be to Will Smith, and she's not. She's not. Proverbs 12 and 4. A virtuous woman is a crown to her husband. But she that maketh a shame is as rottenness in his bones. Will Smith is definitely feeling it. I don't know if y'all paying attention or not, but he's definitely feeling the embarrassment. He's definitely feeling it. You know, you took vows. You're supposed to love, cherish, and honor your husband. But you didn't. You don't. And I believe they be swinging. They're swingers. So he allowed them demons to come in there. Whether it was him that wanted to be a swinger or her that wanted to be a swinger. It actually sat down with Will and had a conversation. He gave me his blessing. Fool can have whatever ideas that they like, but what I'm not okay with is uh, my character, you know, being in question. This is what happens when you try to be, you know, this free world type of person. I bet you regret that. Letting your wife lie with another man. What is going on? That's sinful. That's a sin. So now you really can't feel sorry for Will Smith because he brought this upon himself. It was issues with him and Tupac back then, right? Allegedly over stuff like this. Whether she should be with Pac or him, Will Smith. But sources say Pac wasn't even into Jada Pika Smith, right? Jada Pac, you have to stop this stuff, man. You have to stop this, Jada Pac. That's still your husband at the end of the day. Your children are watching at the end of the day. You have fans and people who support you at the end of the day. He wasn't even into you like that. You yourself said it was the most disgusting kiss y'all ever had. You said it. Okay, Pac, just kiss me. And he kisses me, and it's the most disgusting kiss between <laughs> us both. I mean, he pulled back just like, and I pulled back, and I was like, see, dummy? You know, and from there, it was just like, and then there was one more time. He kissed me, and it was just like... Now you want us to believe, oh, well, everything that's going wrong is because of Tupac. Every time, now you want Tupac, Tupac, Tupac. A lot of women knew Tupac back then. They ain't sitting up there crying a river. You know, just own up to what you do. Proverbs 30 and 20. Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have done no wickedness. That's what she is doing. That is what she's displaying to everybody. Everybody point at Will Smith. Not me. I didn't know we was together. We've been separated. I thought it was a skit when he slapped them. Right? She is always something with her. She's having another um, psychological meltdown, a psychological episode that's deemed demonstrative to everybody because it's demonic, the things that she do. She's always been selfish, though, when you watch her. She always have had fallouts. She had fallouts with Tupac. She had fallouts with Will Smith. She got fallouts with her job. You know, now she having fallouts with her fans, fallouts with her children. 
that's why I say like it's not funny you know like this is a, a serious matter these people are uh, committing adultery and then they say and then she said well we've been separated for years and this is you know um, a blessing in disguise with the Oscars and now we can be at peace it's better and I gotta be honest I mean what's even better is that Will and I are in such a good place and that now we can be together in a way that works for us. And that's what I'm most happy about, you know, because we're in a life partnership, you know, and it's just been beautiful. Just, ever since the Oscars, it's so interesting how such an intense, you know, event can bring you closer together. Let's get to another verse, since you can be at peace. Who says this when somebody tried to uh, defend you and come to your aid? Who says this? So now you just gotta question her integrity. And Will Smith also, because who allow a woman to go on this type of rant and embarrass you? You must have done something really bad. Well, since y'all separate, that's what she said. Um, Proverbs 21 and 19. It is better to dwell in the wilderness than with a contentious an angry woman. The most I tell you, you might as well be out there with all the bears, all the, you know, snakes and uh, foxes and monkeys or wherever, than to be in a house with her, be around her. Right? She is not good for Will Smith. Right, and Will Smith himself too. You ain't off the hook. You be doing all that Scientology, right? Y'all think that y'all God and y'all, you know, like uh, who is that? Morgan Freeman, I believe. Y'all think that God don't exist. Y'all think that Big Bang theories and all this garbage, right? Y'all create these gods in y'all head. Now look at what you're going through. I don't care if all this is fake or not. Because they could be doing this for publicity. We don't know. But who does this though? You're willing to sacrifice images? What did y'all do? Y'all got some Illuminati stuff going on? Because the way she talking and the way Will Smith ain't said a word, it's like she got some like dirt on Will Smith. You sleeping with another man or something? Right? You got relationships with, you know, children or something? The way she talking, she just got something on you. Because you got to come out and defend yourself. You got to come defend yourself, man. This woman is ruining everything you worked hard for. But this is what happens when the things that you all do and it's not of the most high God. It's of the world. You know? Proverbs 31 and 12. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She said that she made promises to work out, work through divorces, not get a divorce and work through it and all that. It seemed like she breaking that. It seemed like she is after a money grab also. It seemed like she's daring him to go sign a paper so he can be the wrong one. So let me destroy his image, right? Let me destroy his image. And then he, you know, he's gonna file for a divorce. I'm gonna look like I'm the right one, right? Cause she still gotta sign the papers too, but that give her, you know, leverage give her, you know, a reason to do so. 
this is just bad, man. So I, I say this, man, fellas, be wise about who you choose and who you let in your life. You don't want a woman to come in your life. The most high didn't create a woman to uh, give man turmoil. Adam was lonely, remember? She's supposed to be your help meet. She's supposed to give you that satisfaction in life. But this is not what we're seeing. Like, man, is, they're getting trampled. You know? And I'm not saying men are all innocent. I'm just saying, look at this situation with Will Smith and Jada Pop. Because she, she swears she's just like in love with Tupac. She was in love. They, you know, this fairy tale garbage when it wasn't even like that. You was just friends with him. You was just friends with him and y'all went to the little Juilliard school. You know, it wasn't even like that. Because where was you when he died? Did you talk to him a year prior before he died? Before he was gunned down? And why didn't he marry you? He marrying, uh, he proposed to this Keisha lady from back then, Kadada Jones, Quincy Jones' daughter. What, where's, where's Jada Pot? Come on now, you gotta stop this. Your kids is watching. Just like, it seemed like she is just, like like I read in Proverbs, just rottenness to his bones. She's toxic, venom, Medusa, acid, poison ivy. You know, like, stop with the man image. Whatever y'all got going on, keep that with y'all. Like, keep that with y'all, though. That's Y'all are married. Bedroom is supposed to be undefiled. How you going on talk shows talking about all this sexual garbage? This is what happens when y'all believe in um, polygamy. All this polygamy garbage, right? This is what happens, man, when you do that. This is what happens. So, um, I don't know what to say, man. This is just, I'm sitting here thinking about it because like she always got something to say like she it seemed like she have an unlimited you know amount of ammo when it comes to damaging this man's character but this is what he get for you know playing with God playing with the most high you know this is where Scientology gets you don't be surprised if somebody died man that's all I'm saying you know, don't be surprised if some something happened, something tragic happened. You know, if somebody get hurt, sick, something. You know, because this is what that Scientology stuff gets you. Keep the most high God first. But if y'all enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Follow me on my other channel, Alpha Hebrew. Um, I do a lot of teaching there and all the other platforms that y'all can find me on. Um, you know, keep supporting, keep um, pushing this content, uh, keep bettering the channel, you know, because they're trying to stop me, but they can't stop me. Um, and make sure y'all keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, and obeying our Father. And um, I will see y'all in the next video. This is Alpha Hebrew signing out. Peace.